Mornings at the Nashville Zoo just wouldn't be the same without the call of the Gibbons. On this week's Zoo Palooza, we're taking a closer look at one of the zoo's most popular exhibits. <laughs> It's the signature sound at the Nashville Zoo in the mornings, the call of the gibbons coming from the primate area. This exhibit is crazy popular. It's in a really great place because in the mornings they like to call quite a bit. They'll climb up to the trees. You hear them kind of screaming back and forth. So it's a really good way to greet the guests to come into that, be able to see it. And you get to kind of explain that they're not just screaming their heads off. They're actually doing a territorial call. And though they may look like monkeys, they're actually considered apes. So these are lesser apes, which does not mean they're lesser. Uh, they definitely are really awesome. Uh, they just don't have as large of a brain as a great ape. Uh, they also kind of have monkey-like features that confuse people, but they do not have the tail. And they're quite entertaining the way they swing through the trees due to a special aspect of their physiology. They have a really awesome wrist and made that they can kind of, it's like a rod. So when they catch, they're literally swinging and able to move their wrists in a way that we can't. So it just has them completely be able to fly across to tree to tree. And there's a family here that goes back generations. So we have Makayo. Makayo is six years old. He is the kiddo of Singwa and Patty. They're kind of hiding out in the back. And Grandma Muffy, mother to Singwa, is living behind the scenes of the zoo, and she's 52 years old. Gibbons are originally from Southeast Asia, and now they're considered an endangered species. They are critically endangered um, due to deforestation. They just don't really have anywhere to live anymore. Uh, trees being cut down, um, people hunting them for meat, hunting them to be pet for the pet trade, which, side note, they're terrible pets. Never get them as a pet. Um, but yeah, there's really not many of them left. Because of that, the Nashville Zoo participates in the species survival plan for this species to increase the captive population. And get ready for International Gibbon Day. So we're celebrating International Gibbon Day in the next couple of weeks. It's going to be really exciting. We're going to have some informational booths. It's just really important to highlight these guys and to understand what's going on in the wild and how we can help them at home. And if you visit the primate area at the Nashville Zoo, the gibbons are not the only ones there. Besides the white-cheeked and Simon gibbons, there are also cotton-top tamarins, emperor tamarins, spider monkeys, ringtail lemurs, and red ruffed lemurs, all there for you to experience. For this week's Zoopalooza, I'm Davis Nolan, News 2.